So welcome back to Angular Partner. In this video, specifically to React, we are going to see a scenario where we can have a form, right? Where we have a single entity and with that single entity, we have to send some multiple objects also, right? This is most familiar when, if uh, this scenario won't come if you are doing for a practice, but when you are working on actual project, this scenario will always come where you have an object and inside that object, you need to pass another object or another array of object like that, right? So as you can see, this is just an employee form. Again, this video and this form, we are doing it with the API, actual working API, right? So you will have an exact behavior, how it works when you have to work with the, this kind of scenario, right? So consider like you have a employee registration form where Employee details are single, means name, contact number, email, the basic details, whatever they are there, it is single. But for this employee, his family details are going to be multiple, right? So here we can add a number of family details, like on click of add, on click of add, it will get adding over here. And on click of save employee, we have to pass the employee object along with the multiple family details as a in a single object with the API to save the data, right? Now, this is just a UI. Now the API we have to use for this is like this. So whenever I, whenever you see a object like this, where you have some parent properties and inside one of the properties, you get array of object. So you need to make sure like this is nothing but single with multiple entity crowd operation, right? So here you can see the employee details are single, but in employee relatives, you need to send the array of employees relatives, right? So this is what we are going to cover, right? Now, I have just created a simple uh, uh, React just functional component. Inside that, I have created a form also. That form is nothing but I will share this. Uh, this repository is already there in my GitHub. You can just check it out and you can download the HTML also, right? Now, here you can see a single detail is there in call seven. So one row is there inside call seven. I have the single form. And remaining in the call for you, I have this multiple, right? So let me show you the multiple one, right? So in call for you, again, I have a row inside that I have three columns, name, relation, age, and a button. On click of this add button, we are going to push the data to an array. And that array only we are going to display in the T body, means the relative, multiple relative, right? So first thing we have to create the object as it is, right? Whenever we start any crowd operation, right? In the React first, we create the object, whatever we need to send with the API. So this is nothing but that object. So let's copy. Let's create a state for this. Let Let's name the state as employee OBJ. It's set method. You state and we have to initialize the object. So inside that I'm initializing it. Right. And we just need to get rid of this string with empty one. So I have just searched that and let's replace with empty. Like that. Now this is the whole object, but inside that we have an inner object also. So again, we need to create an another state with this object. By default, it will be initialized with empty only. Let's create another state. Let relative obj set relative obj use state. Tom bracket, curly bracket, right? So as you can see, we have created two states with one with the employee object and one with the relative object. Now, next thing we need to create the method to change the values of this also, right? So first we'll, uh, for now, just to mention, I'm creating a method below this constant update employee form values. This function we are going to call on each element change, right? Text box change value. This function will have two parameters. First is the event and second is the key. 
arrow function. Right. Now here we have to change use this method set employee object square bracket previous obj arrow function round bracket inside that object dot 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 previous object comma in square bracket the key whatever we have colon event dot target dot value so this is the function which we normally create a dynamic function to update the form value target dot value right just like this we are going to need a function for this relative object also instead of this now it will you will use this employee relative object relative form values right now we have created two state one with the employee object and one with the relative object now these functions we have to call on the on change of the form right so in employee in employee form we have to call the uh, update employee form values method and in relative form we have to relative form means just these three fields this is nothing but relative form right so we have to respectively call the methods on them so this method we will call over here on change from bracket with event we are going to pass function round bracket first parameter is going to be event and second parameter is nothing going to be key key is nothing but whatever the key we have over here name right so like this we just need to copy paste and we are just going to change the key only that's it remaining things will be same let me just copy paste whole at once go then we will change the key so whenever you are working always try to copy paste the things right because you should not waste the time in just copy pasting so always use an effective method so that in the less time you achieve so much right now we just have to change the property name as key we have to pass email city state pin code and designation right so just like this we have to call the another method also so let me just copy this and we have to pass that on the relative form the method name will be update with relative form method name will be over here let me just copy this drop down for the relation it will go over here and the last one is the age now here you can see relative id and the emp id you don't have to pass these are nothing this is nothing but primary key and this is nothing but foreign key which will auto generate so you don't have to pass it just initialize with zero only age right so we have created state a method to change the object right and both functions we have binded to the different form now another thing would we have to do so if you see, let's see if I add, add something over here, on click of add, we need to push this object into my main object, main object and the property name is mock EMP relatives. So whatever the relative details we have pushed on click of add button, we need to get that object and push that over here inside this mock relative array. So now for this, we need to create one more function. So let's create that function which will be get call on click of add. So constant add relative. Right. Now this is just going to be an empty uh, means normal function. We don't have parameter or anything over here. Now in this function what we have to do from this object in this property we need to push it. Right. So we have to call this method only round bracket previous obj round bracket curly bracket dot 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 previous obj as it is right then comma which property we need to change mock emp relatives colon and mock emp relatives is nothing but an array so how do we update an array like this 
previous object dot sorry dot 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 previous object dot emp mock relative this is the existing array after that we need to pass the updated one so that is relative one relative object here it will go the relative object right now this function we have to call on the add button just try do the exact step what i'm doing it will it will work as same let me just complete the basic thing then i will explain also now on click of add whatever the details we are uh, entering over here we are pushing that into the object of this employee object dot mock relative so in this array in this uh, property we are going to have array of object so that we can use to iterate over the what do we say table right so this is the table we have let's remove the static one code now tr will be dynamic so curly bracket employee object dot on employee relatives we are going to use the map operator item colon index also we are going to need right then let's copy this tr and put it inside this with the return statement right now here in the first id we have to show the index so index plus one and instead of row heat now we have to show the relative names so item dot what is the property name 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 we have to show over here then relation and then lastly age right so let's just format once more time let's save and check now if we add, keep on adding something else here let's try to add rahul let's select the relation as brother let's uh, enter the age 24 on click of add now you can see it is visible over here let's change the details again Sachin. let's say father 56 add so now you can see on click of adding we can add we can keep on going adding multiple relatives right now on click of save we just need to hit the api right so this api we have to hit so this is nothing but this is the api url now on click of save we are going to hit the api so obviously uh, in this project i have already installed the xos and everything just refer with uh, some of my previous videos how do we do that so here we just have to import the hoix and uh, so you know, xois we have to implement so let me call, just copy the import statement right after xois we can just uh, do the api call right so let's create an function const create employee this function we will be calling on the button click so here constant result is equal to xois dot post api right now post api requires two parameters sorry this uh, from this function we are going to make an api call right so we need to add a sync a sync over here and await over here so that it should wait right now post api required two parameter first is the url let me just copy url again first is the url and second is the object right so object is nothing but employee object the parent object we have to send because in this parent object employee information is also there and relative information is also there multiple right so this we need to pass it over here and from my api let's check the response i get the object in response in that result property is what i can uh, be assured like api call is success or not so here i will just add a check that res let's instead of result let's make it response so response dot data dot result if it is true we will show the message like employee creation success
in else we will show the alert message and alert message also we get it from the api only that again in the message field so dot message right now this function we have to call on the button click so button is button is inside my first call seven at the bottom right on save employee so here we have to call that api call right so let's just save and check if we are successfully able to make the api call or not right so let me just show you the existing record how many records we have we have get employee method get employee method, api call is there so currently i think up to nine we have right from one two three four five six nine records are there now if we insert one more record will be there right so let's create an employee let's say employee name is Rahul, Bajaj, let's enter dummy mobile number, let's enter dummy email ID, let's enter city, state, let's enter pin code, let's enter designation, senior developer. Now we have to add the relatives of Rahul Bajaj. Let's say Rohit. as his brother let's say age 23 add now you on click of add also you can clear this also just by again initializing with the uh, empty object but i have not done that but you can do it sachin let's say sachin is his father let's say 56 add right so we have just added two family members for now now let me just add a debugger in that particular component single with multiple dot js so that you can see how object will get created on click of save now if we see the employee object see let me just make it bigger so you can see in the employee object we have single information but in mock relatives we are having multiple information whatever the names we have added that you can see over here so employee related employee details is single but his relatives are multiple so this is nothing but single with multiple entity right let's click on continue employee creation success right so this is nothing but the message i have got so if you see the payload this is what the object we have sent to save in the response we have got employee id 10 got created right employee created successful message is also there now let's say get employee so up till 9 was there Let's execute again. So now here you can see Rahul Bajaj record is also coming. Right. But in the list, we are not going to get the multiple. So if we need to see the whole record, this is the employee ID. So one more API call is there, get employee by ID. So here, if we try it out and pass the employee ID, you will get the same data, whatever you have saved. Means employee detail along with the relative. Right. Rohit and the Sachin you can see. So in this episode, I just had to explain the insert operation. In coming videos, I will be completing whole operation, means employee creation is already done, but in the next video, I will be uh, completing list and the edit and the update part and the delete also, so that you will have a basic understanding how do we deal when it comes to single with multiple object and how do we identify it if it is a single with multiple by checking the object, like how it object is looking. So every time object will look like this. A single object will be there and in a single property array of object will be there. So this is nothing but single with multiple. So you should consider designing a UI something like this where you can add multiple things like this. Right? So that's it with the current video. Hope you are liking my content. Please do like and subscribe to my channel.